it was Friday. It was a Friday. Um, and I had received uh, four phone calls from the physician telling me to call back. And so I had a real sense of devastation, thinking that maybe it was really bad news. So I picked up the phone when I got back from work, and I actually forced the physician uh, to tell me the news of me having cancer um, on the phone. So uh, I received that news on the phone by myself. It was my birthday. Unfortunately, it was not a, a happy day. And, and the first thing that I did was um, to call my husband, um, Norm, and um, to tell him. Obviously, we both were very much speechless. We just hugged. I uh, cried and cried and cried. Um, after that, um, my children were very young. Nine, I had three children, nine. I have three children. <laughs> At the time, they were nine, seven, and six years old. And so life was uh, very hectic as well back then. And um, um, so we had to tell them. And so we tried, um, given the fact that they were very young children, to um, make their life uh, as normal as possible. Then the, I think the hardest part was um, telling my, my mom and dad. Um, I mean, you'd always want your parents to just, you know, be happy. They're, they're, they're older, they need to be living their lives fully, and now they're faced with the fact that their child has to go through treatments and cancer and might die. So I drove down to see them. I told them that I needed to, to, to see them, and I, I walked into the house, and I, I sat I sat them down and and then I told them and um, well for my mom it's funny because she took on a, a, a very strong position she she felt strong she felt like she could help me and I and, and at the end of the day through the treatments my mother was very much present and she was probably the one person that I needed the most to be with me during the treatments and she did that for me um, when it when it came to my father's reaction that was um, completely I think a paternal instinct and his response was to he he, he just told me in my ear that if he could, he would take the cancer for me and take the hit for me, but unfortunately that's, that, that, that doesn't happen that way. I got a lot of help and support from my family and friends. I was lucky enough to have a support system that um, allowed me to be able to get through the treatments. And the whole process, though, permitted me to to, to connect with who I am as a person really uh, very deeply and so there's a lot of good that came out of all of this bad so there my name uh, I'm 50 50 years old and my name is Anne and um, and I am a fighter <laughs>